team, we're going to revisit step four. When I looked at what it was asking later, it asked us for percent of totals, and yet we calculated annual totals. So I added this hint right here of percent of totals, and um, instead of this for our, for our formula, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. We're going to go back and we're going to try this again. I believe what it wants, I'm going to highlight cells A5 through A9. I'm going to hold my control key and this time I'm going to click G5 to G9. Once I've done that, I was able to highlight two separated columns and then I'm going to go ahead and go into insert, go to all my charts and look for a 3D chart. So I click Pi and I click a 3D chart and click OK. Now we have percentage totals, which I believe is what the assignment was looking for. In step five, it asked us to do our um, summary of annual expenses in our title. For our chart title. So again, we're revisiting what we just did. And we're going to come back here into format and it asks us to do a 3D format with a shadow in blue. And that's fill blue accent one with a shadow and change the font style. Come back on the, over here to home, change your font style to size 28. And that's the end of step five. Oh, we also need to move our chart, don't I? Don't we? Let's do that. We're going to click the white space in our chart. We're going to right click the space in our chart after we select it. Then we're going to select move chart, go to new sheet, and we're going to type that summary. Um, I'm not sure that's what we were supposed to name it. Let's see what we're supposed to name it. Remove add data labels annual expenses chart. That's what we needed to name it. And click OK because we wanted to go to a new sheet and there we are. And we already did our title so that works out pretty good as well. And so we're going to come on down here to five and we did that with our blue coloring and come back down to six and it asked us to remove the legend. So we're going to click the legend down here and hit delete and then it asks us to add data labels. So we came up to the plus and in chart elements we selected data labels and on data labels we wanted to go into the center and then on the data labels we wanted to go change the font to 12 and bold and italics and now when it talks about category name and percentage display we have done that in the center and um, that's that's what we wanted One of the other things it asked us to do was have the names. Remember, we had a legend down here and we deleted it. So if you come back here and you click on your on your chart, the chart element um, comes available and you click that and we can go back to our data labels and on data labels, I'm going to click that arrow and see how we have more options. We select more options and the name we want is the category name. So once we have that, we have exactly what we needed for a name and a percentage for each pie slice. And then we want to come down to the label position and click center. And now we've finally been able to uh, complete that step six. And we're bolded, we're italics, and we have our percentages.